Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate three great events. First of all, we celebrate the new, the first, the new year, 2021. We celebrate also today the first Friday of the year, and we consecrate ourselves to the sacred heart of Jesus and the sacred heart of Mary. And also we celebrate today the Theotokos of Mary, Mary proclaimed Mother of God. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. sinned in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my, my words, and what, what I've done and what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, 
we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. In this Mass today, we're going to be praying for the repose of the soul of Carrie Santos. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the altar of life. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, this is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A 
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. According to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what they had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord.
My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate three important events. I can say even four. Today is the first day of the year, and so we take the time to reflect and to thank the Lord for the past year's blessings and challenges. And we offer the new year to the Lord, trusting that he will take care of us this coming new year. Today is also the first Friday of the month. And so we offer ourselves to the sacred heart of Jesus and Mary, so that we may be filled with love and so filled that we may also witness this love to others around us. Today also is the Haitian Independence Day, and we pray in a particular way for the Haitian people. With Mary, with the Virgin Mary, we have three solemnities the Immaculate Conception of Mary, the Assumption of Mary, and the Theotokos, which means Mary, Mother of God. Today is the solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God. Thus, in our prayers, we ask Mary, the Mother of Jesus, our Lord, to help us as we move into the new year and into this phase of our lives. Mary must have been 14, maybe 16 years old at the most when she accepted the biggest job of her life, to be the mother of our Christ Jesus. To remember Mary is to remember God of grace, who does great things for the lowly, the humble, and the simple-hearted. Yet today, we proclaim Mary as the mother of God. We need to ask ourselves, how did Mary get such an honor? The angel also made the prediction, even from his mother's womb, the child will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Mary, among all of humanity, was untouched by sin from her conception to her death because of her unique role as mother of God. She shared what were the joys and the soul of the Jewish people in, he, in her relationship with God. Elizabeth cried out, how come the mother of my savior, of my Lord, come to visit me? Her virtues were hidden perfections, where the strength that brought Jesus as child to grow in wisdom. She nourished her son Jesus with her faith by accompany, accompanying him to discover the presence of God throughout the history of the Jewish people. A woman is a person's natural mother if she carried in her womb and if she gave birth like genetic mothers. Mary was the mother of Jesus in both of these senses. Because she carried Jesus in her womb and supplied the genetic mother for his human body. If Mary is the mother of Jesus and if Jesus is God, then Mary is the mother of God. The virginal love of Mary for God 
is teaching us to rely on the unfailing helper who is God. One thing Mary sought for all her life was to free herself, to empty herself, and to fulfill the will of God. Later, Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, echoed this recognition by greeting Mary as the mother of my Lord. She recognized the importance of the event and expresses her joy and humility in being involved in the unfolding of God's plan. The acknowledgement by Elizabeth of the importance of Mary and her woe comes out in her exclamation, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. If Elizabeth, brothers and sisters, expresses her honor and respect towards Mary at such a vital moment, then we can safely follow her and how to hold Mary in equally high regard. We confess in the creed then our Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, perfect God and perfect man of a rational soul and, a bo and body, begotten before all ages from the Father and his Godhead, the same in the last day, for us and for our salvation, born of the Virgin, according to his humanity, one and the same consubstantial with the Father in Godhead and consubstantial with us in humanity for a union of two natures to place. There is great truth in our nativity saints that depict Mary worshiping the child whom she had just, just gave, gave a birth. Her child is the son of God. Mary is the first woman of the new age of God. She is the new Eve, the new mother of all the living those living in the kingdom of God. She is our mother given to us on the cross, yes, but also given to us for all time in the unfathomable plan of God for our salvation. Therefore, we ask our mother to intercede for us with her eternal son. Amen. Let us pray, my brothers and sisters. Let us call upon us now God's blessing and offer to him all our concern and also this new year. For the Holy Father, may God bless him with a year of good health as he leads the church in wisdom and love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For public authorities, may the Lord strengthen them in integrity and courage for leadership that safeguards all human life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who lack hope, may the promise of the Lord's faithfulness bring them consolation and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may Christ, who came in flesh to save us, be born anew in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in faith, may they soon rejoice in God's presence, glorifying and praising him for all eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the repose of the soul of Kathy Santos, let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions written in our book and those in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in your wisdom, please hear and answer our prayers today. We ask this through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, food of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, food of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Please stand.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice unto your hands. The praise and glory of God's name, our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in your kindness began all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us respect to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Found of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Ministry of Faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Leonard Blair, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and especially today, Cathy Santos, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us. All we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may pray and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. that I'll forget about the creed. We're going to say the creed. I believe in one, one God, God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, the Almighty, maker of heaven, heaven and earth, earth, of all, all things, things visible and invisible. And invisible. I, believe I believe in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, the, the only begotten Son, Son of God, God born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, God, God begotten and not made, unsubstantial with the Father. Father. Through him, him all things, things were made, for, for us men and for our, our salvation. salvation. He came down from heaven, and by, by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and, and his kingdom, kingdom will have no end. end. I, believe I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe, I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. This is our faith. This is of the faith of our Catholic Church. Now, at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, and the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I 
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We echo the first reading today, and God calls us to bless everyone and I will ask you when you leave this church today bless everyone in your in your way bless also your family members your son and daughters the blessing you bestowed upon them today will remain for all the year and it is important to bless people this is what God asked us in the first week I'm gonna give you the blessing of the year as the church request and uh, after each petition you're going to say amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may god the source and origin of all blessing grant you grace pour out his blessing in abundance and keep you safe from harm throughout the year May he give you integrity of faith, in the faith, endurance and hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end. Amen. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace. Grant your prayers in this and in every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen.
Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Holy, Holy Michael, Michael, the, the Archangel, defend us in the battle. Be, be our protection, protection against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May, May God, God rebuke him, him, we humbly pray. And do you pray the, the heavenly host, host by the power of God, cast into hell, hell Satan, and, and all the other evil spirits, spirits who wander about, about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let all their songs employ, while fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat. The sounding joy. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glory. His righteousness and wonders of His love, and wonders of His love, and wonders, wonders of His love. Happy New Year to all of you. Happy New Year. Sometimes.